In this video, I'm going to tell you the truth about the Bitcoin ETFs. There is a lot of FUD going around. There's a lot of people with a lot of concerns around the GBTC shares and are the ETFs going to be good for Bitcoin? I'm going to show you the facts. I'm going to show you the data and I'm going to tell you my opinion coming up. Welcome to Black Box Trading. I am your host, JT, and here on the channel, we focus on Bitcoin fundamental and technical analysis. So if you're new to the channel, I want to invite you to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell notification so that you can stay up to date and informed in a very fast moving cryptocurrency market. So let's get into what I think is happening in the Bitcoin market and what uh, I expect. Spoiler alert, it's uh, very bullish. So let's get into it. So it's pretty simple. The whole market works on two forces, supply and demand. Um, the biggest contributor to supply in the Bitcoin network are the miners. Uh, and currently they produce about 900 Bitcoin a day. But what about the ETFs? So this is a chart of all of the Bitcoin ETFs. These are spot ETFs. So the top bar represents each of the individual ETFs and the sidebar represents each day of operation of said ETFs. And on the far right hand side here, you can see that this is the total amount of capital inflows into the ETFs. So for example, on February 12th, there was $493 million that went into this ETF. What that means is there's $493 million worth of buy pressure going into the Bitcoin market. This is unprecedented. Um, we have not seen this sort of consistency of inflows, at least not trackable and auditable like we now have with the ETFs. And uh, it's very bullish because it's consuming way more than the miners can produce. So if we just hop on over to CoinGecko here, we can go down and, and scroll and input the amount in US dollars. So on February 12th, there was 493.4 million US dollars that went into Bitcoin. That is the buy pressure of 10,100 Bitcoins. I'm going to remind you that the daily issuance from the miners is 900. What that approximately equates to is over 10 times the amount of Bitcoin that's being produced every single day is being consumed by the ETFs. The interesting thing is when the liquidity dries up in the OTC market, they're going to have to go to the public market. This is the first time we've ever gone into a Bitcoin halving where the available supply on exchanges has been in a decline. On this chart, you can see from the early days of Bitcoin, this orange line represents the amount of Bitcoin sitting on exchanges. So as Bitcoin was mined, it was going to the exchange, going to the exchange, going to the exchange. For every single cycle, every single Bitcoin having, the amount of Bitcoin available to trade was only increasing. This is the first time in Bitcoin's history where the amount of Bitcoin available for trade on the exchanges is in a decline. I think a lot of people are underestimating the gravity of this situation. And what we're seeing as a result of all of this is some pretty powerful uh, price action pre-halving. Now, we haven't hit these kind of remarkable and unprecedented uh, moves just yet. But we just had a very strong signal on the weekly chart. This is a weekly chart of Bitcoin. And this is a very strong candle. This is telling to me that we're not ready to slow down. We're actually ready to take the next level up. The thing that's interesting about the next level up is the next level up is the all time high. That is mind boggling. Every single price cycle that we've seen in previous years have had Bitcoin break its all-time high after the halving. This first cycle right here, it broke the, it rallied into the halving and it broke its all-time high after the halving. Back here as well, it rallied into the halving, it broke its all-time high after the halving. So again, nothing's confirmed yet, but if we do see Bitcoin up at the all-time high, prior to its having with everything that's going on fundamentally and the only real supply hitting the market being 900 bitcoin at a time 
that is going to get cut in half to 450 Bitcoin per day, while the ETF is cruising along consuming 10,000 a day. At that point, the ETF will be consuming 20 times the new issuance of Bitcoin onto the network. And the best part is nobody's even talking about Bitcoin. The herd is not in. The mania hasn't even started. So this is happening while Bitcoin is quiet. So if we're consuming 10,000 Bitcoin now per day, how many Bitcoin are we going to be consuming when there's a mania? And how on earth are you going to price that? So at this point, I'm sure you're wondering, OK, well, that's all well and dandy. What do you think the price of Bitcoin is going to do? And I'm going to give you two scenarios. I'm going to give you my bearish scenario and I'm going to give you my bullish scenario. My bearish scenario is going to be derived from last cycle's price action. But I also want to point out that last cycle, the available supply started off at 17.65%. And this cycle's low, we're starting off at 2.3%. So that puts my conservative estimate at around $500,000 per Bitcoin in the context of capital inflow only. This is not even taking into account the fact that FTX was scamming everybody and he wasn't actually holding any Bitcoin at all. This is not taking into account the speed at which the acceleration of supply decline is occurring. This is really um, quite conservative. So my more bullish and what I actually think is more feasible is closer to a million dollars, just purely based off of the fact that the ETFs are legitimate. They are truly consuming spot Bitcoin. The market is getting away from deriving all of its values from futures markets and derivatives, and it's going back to deriving its values from spot Bitcoin. And that doesn't even begin to scrape the surface of the supply shock that's happening as a result of ordinals and BRC20 tokens and, and the whole developing DeFi ecosystem that's happening on Bitcoin. I have videos about that popping up over here, but things are going to get wild. Nobody is bullish enough. And I think that this is really going to be the first cycle that we start to break down some of the models, start to have people question what is the true value of Bitcoin. And uh, geez, I really got a FOMO into this thing. So let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think I'm fucking crazy? Do you think I'm out to lunch? Do you think that this is feasible? Are your price targets higher than mine? I really want to hear from you guys. So please check out the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. And if you guys are interested in the free Bitcoin trading bot that we offer, go to blackbox.pro that is blkbox.pro sign up for your free Bitcoin trading bot. It buys the bottoms and sells the tops. Never miss a move again with black box. That is all the time I have for today. Until next time, please trade safe. It is jungle out there. Peace.